Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got Lagavulin. I love saying it. Uh, it sounds manly. Like yeah, what are you Lagavulin. drinking? Lagavulin. 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 Uh, and Star Wars. A misconception. Ah, uh, big misconception. Let's test it. Test it. Lily, no, no. All right. <laughs> that was perfect. So, log in 16. You got the dog a little fired up there. I did, the yeah. When but depending on what intro, yeah, we, I think, we had a few to choose from. Yeah, I don't know which intro we we'll used. See. The intros we used, we always shoot about four intros, and then we pick the best one when we're editing. Believe it or not, we've had this log of Woolen 16 on the shelf for quite a while. Yeah, some people have even been calling We've for had it. a lot of commenters. Yeah. Where's the Log of Woolen review? Twitter, YouTube, yeah. Log of Woolen. Log of Boom. Log of Woolen. Log of Woolen. We, and, uh, log of Woolen. we tasted we it, it, reviewed it. It's been sitting on the shelf. It's smoky. And it just kind of... I can tell you I tasted there. this hmm. five months ago. Yeah. And, now, and uh, we had had, this was actually Lagavulin was at one of the first tastings we had. Yeah. And I can tell you, I did not like it. No, it scared me. Because, the very because first it was the first tasting. Yeah. First Scotch tasting, it was peaty. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what in the world yeah, is that? Yeah, who drinks that? this? Yeah, when my first tasting, that's why we, by the way, go check our <clears throat> five scotches for beginners, episode 161. Because when I first started, was it, it was. You're good. Yeah. You don't usually don't remember stuff like that. Uh, I'm getting better. It yeah. is 161. How would you know that? I'm good. <laughs> You're not good. I, no, I'm, I'm generally okay. I have my moments. I have inspiration. Um, uh, I know. Um, at the very first Scotch tasting that we were, we were actually both at. Um, I didn't like the Smokies. The Smokies were too strong for me. Too powerful. Um, too much of a punch in the face. It was probably what about a year in that uh, you said, "Hey, I got one you're gonna yeah, like," and uh, and I went and tried it, and and that really set me up. And from then on, man, I went deep. I dove deep into mm -hmm. the Smokies. Yeah. Now and I want it smoke as you can get. I, you know, I still don't lean towards them side by side. I'm choosing something else most of the time. Gotcha. Occasionally, I, I will choose, you know, with my 30 to 40 open bottles that I have at home, occasionally I go to a peated scotch. There's people out there hating you for saying 30 to 40. <clears throat> 30 to 40 open bottles at home. Well, and there's people that have more, and there's people that have less. True. All right. But I've warmed up to Pete's. Thank you. I mean, there's like I say, they're still not my favorite. Oh, my favorite. They I are your favorite. Them. Oh, you I them. love them. I love them. Now, on this one, real quick though, the topic of uh, it's, it, and it's been hot and heavy here lately. Uh, adding colorant, adding caramel coloring. I know, I know. I don't like it. It's there. I, I know. Lagavulin 16's got it in there. I know. I know. They say it has no flavor <clears throat> effect at all, yeah. and then there's other experts that say it does. Yeah. Here's my deal. I don't need it. All right. I don't I, need it in the color. Um, Compass box taught me. I prejudged Peat Monster because it was so light and faint, and I thought, come on, man. And then I tasted it, and I was like, hello. And from that point on, after the Peat Monster, um, I don't care what the color is. I mean, sure, the color looks nice, but you know, yeah. if you want my 10 cents, please don't add anything to it. Just make it what it is. Yeah. You know? I agree. And this is a heavily regarded, you know, Pete at Scotch, the Lagavulin 16. A yeah. lot of people love the Lagavulin 16. Lagavulin. 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 Caramel coloring added. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Some people are so, chill filtered. Some people. <laughs> God, no. Some people refuse. God, no. Some people refuse to drink <laughs> anything with, with caramel coloring added. True. True. It's I'm just saying, scotch. I definitely don't refuse, but I just say, give it to me all natural. All yeah. natural. Now, I can smell this just as we're sitting. I don't even yeah. need to put this in my yep. nose. Yep. And I can smell the peat. Love it. Coming up. I mean. I get the peat, but this peat is not a smoke ash peat. This is what I call, in my mind, body putty. My father, as his hobby, 
I love to restore old Model A's. And from an early age, like age three, he'd be out there working with that pink body putty. That's what this smells like to me. So this is it's, the type of peat that gives me that that smell. It's peat, but it's body putty. And a lot of times if there's peat, I have trouble discerning any other notes from it. Yeah. Um, I do pick up, I, I call this a sweet peat. I can tell it's kind of, there's a sugar tone to it. Um, I, and I get a little bit, I've gotten a little bit of brown sugar on the nose and grassiness. And that's it. 43% ABV, of course, 16 year. And you're right, I, it's subtle, and I don't get too many other hints in there. Now, let me ask you this. I get a this. hint of mint. A lot of online reviews and notes that I've seen say that this has been sherry casked. Mm. Nowhere on the packaging does it say it. Okay. I haven't seen I any of those. I don't get any sherry to it. But yeah, if you go check online reviewers notes, there's several that put sherry in this. Hmm. And I've even seen where they say this has been sherry cast. I don't know where that's coming from. Well, Please tell us. We if are you the know, dummies. Yeah. It is not on the box. It's not on the website. It's not on the bottle. Maybe I don't got get great it. noses. They can pick it up. I don't pick <clears> it up. <throat> I don't pick it up. Um, matter of fact, on the nose, that's really what I told you is the peat and the, uh, the body putty uh, memory that it sparks. I will tell you just from the color, if you can see it, how rich it is. And that is kind of surprising. Or may, um, Most of your peated scotches, and you go to the peat monster, you go to your Lefroigs, your Ardbegs, it's a lot paler It's got nice taste. Scotch. Um, your peated scotches, the longer they're in the cask, the milder the peat becomes. So a lot of your peated scotches are only eight, 10 years old. Right. A 16 year old Lagavulin though, uh, or as this Lagavulin is. Yeah, yeah. Lefroig. This is 16, so it has been in the wood a little bit longer and it really does have a little bit of a rich color to it. And but, I guess that is from the but color. Then you, yeah, then you said there's a color. Here's the deal. We've got our notes down, sorry, because we taste these well ahead of time. And then we retaste here. And I've got here, and what I just got in my mouth is exactly the same. Soft and warm, smoky warm. Soft lingering aftertaste, maybe a hint of hazelnut, but it's pleasing, it's light. It's not subtle, but it's not slapping you in the face, Pete. No, no. Medium to a lot of. Medium to a lot of peat. Um, there is a little bit of a sugar sweetness mm -hmm. to it. A little bit of a, a citrus underlying tone to it. And oak. Yeah. The peat though is not harsh. And, and, and like I say, even I don't go to the peats. I trend away from them. Yeah. This is delicious. Right. It's a sweet peat is kind of what I call it. It's not a smoke heavy, smoke ash peat. Mm -hmm. It's a sweet peat. That hint of hazelnut is also in that oak. You get a lingering, soft, feathering out, peaty aftertaste with the sugar kind of almost forefront. And I think that's what makes it so pleasant. If I had someone that said, you know, the, the Freud and the Ardbeg is a little too much for me, boom. Try this log of Google in 16. Definitely. Bam. That's what I would right? say. Because it's going to bring somebody over that likes those sweeter scotches, <clears throat> and it's going to give them a hint of the peat. I've had some Lefroigs and some Ardbegs where you start them and I don't want to finish them. <laughs> and I finish them for you. Yeah. I've actually finished his Ardbegs and because his Lefroigs for him and I'm like, yes. The yes. way it takes over your yes. taste buds in yes. your mouth and, yes, just, it, and it just pushes everything else out. Bam. It's like me. That, I mean, that's you're, you're getting a little bit of that peat here <laughs> and it's mild and it's present but it's not overpowering that's and, true. It, and, it, and it's not destroying anything else that's there and i don't feel strong. like it's destroying is a little strong because i feel like you're overtaking you're talking about the frog <laughs> well yeah 
I Lafroy conquer. destroys. No conquers. It doesn't. And I, and and I say taste. It doesn't. Lafroy doesn't destroy taste buds. No. It destroys what taste buds discern. It it conquers and makes you love it. <laughs> it conquers. It conquers, conquers. your taste buds. Lafroy. This is the conqueror. This, uh, this is really good. I like, it. and I tell you, I come in and, and I tasted this five months ago, and I have. I'll, I'll just tell you outright, my score is a ninety-one. Mm. As I was looking at it, and before we started it's tasting it again, low. I thought, is that a little high? No. no I thought it's a peated scotch. Yeah. It's an Isla scotch. Right. I gave it a ninety-one. Is that kind of high? But I'm telling you, sitting well, here drinking it, that's that's right a on. great that's, score. That's a good yeah, score. That, that's that it. That is actually a great score. <clears throat> I I am on par with you. I was waiting for you to do your little finger thing over there with the, usually you show your score. Mm -hmm. I, too, am saying a 91. This is almost a 92. Um, but it's a 91 for me. I think, All right, we had a little glitch. We were just spinning around. We were talking about, oh, it cleared out. 91. I agreed. Also a 91. Uh, good call. There's really not much else to be said here. Um, so, it's this is one I'll keep around, and when I want a peated scotch, mm. I'll go right there. We'll just leave it here. You can come over and drink it whenever you Negative. like. Yeah. Now, now, if you want to trade, maybe we can work <laughs> out a trade. But I might even have a hard time. Really, I, I, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, so... If I can't remember if I said it or not, but this is one that I think if you got a buddy that that doesn't like the ashtray smoke, the ashtray sure. peaty heavy, mm -hmm. this is That's the me. sweet peat. Right. This is the sweet peat. This is one sweet peat. Sweet peat. Put that on a t-shirt. Boom. Sweet, sweet peat. Peat. That actually That's would us. be yeah. That's a scotch disc of sweet peat. This is one that that would open up that door, allow them to come in and say hello. Nice to meet you, Pete. That's mm -hmm. what this is. And I think this is a great ambassador for the Pete smoke. I think so. Good. Now, one thing. We didn't cover, although maybe in our intro, we had something about Star a Wars. commenter. Yeah. What did a commenter say? Uh, whiskey and Star Wars does not go together. Heresy. Heresy. What are you talking about? Now, you told me this. And I said, what? Let me go comment because Moss Eisley in Star Wars, and you were like, yeah, already in there. What did you say? Yep, exactly. That's what what, that say? was my reply to the commenter. Whiskey and Star Wars doesn't go together. I said, well, if you go back and yeah. bar Come on. friends, go Broncos, Star Wars, and Moss Eisley had a cantina. Right. So, Come yes, on. Star Wars and Whiskey. Do you think together. you wander into Moss Eisley? You're looking for some illegal it's, transport it's, first off of all, the planet. It's on Tatooine. It's, it's on a Tatooine. desert planet. Yeah, it's, it's a hot. backwater. It's, it's dirty. Hot. There's Jabba the Hutt. You're There's, probably thirsty. It's crazy. You're parched. Well, beyond that, though, that's a seedy you, bar. Yes. Are you going to walk it's, in there and be like, hey, I'd like a Manhattan? Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> Give me a uh, Long Island iced tea. I want a Pina heavy. colada. Yeah. Come on. Rum chata. You what do you got? You're getting Fireball. a straight single malt something. Yes, whiskey. Right? Yeah, you're getting a whiskey. Well, it might not, not be a ordering. single malt. Yeah, but, but it's you're a not. You know, you're not ordering a cocktail. No. Boom. And they might even like pour it out on the bar <laughs> and you <laughs> light it lick on it. fire you while you lick, lick it up. Ah, this off is a bar. This is called the burning yavin. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Ah, yeah. yeah, that's it. Or the short right. stormtrooper. Boom. Yeah, Boom. The, sh <laughs> the short stormtrooper. This is called the droid destroyer. All right, because we hate droids. Get that that's droid out of here. Next episode, that's we're, it. Up, we're naming, we're coming up with some Star Boom. Wars name drinks. That is it. Some Star. That's good. Some Star Wars name drinks. I like that. <laughs> this is in the episode, yeah. regardless the of the short stormtrooper. Storm yep. <laughs> Scotch it again. You Scotch gods. So aren't you? Dummies. Lagabule. 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 Lagabule.
You made your dog start whining with that one. She heard it. 16. Let's test it. Test it!